Hallelujah. Please take your seats in the house of God. Indeed, our God is good. Oh, God is good. And all the time, wave at somebody, tell the person, welcome to church. Come on, shake somebody's hands, tell the person, welcome to church. I am glad I'm seated by you. I know all of us will be blessed together. If you believe it, put your hands together for Jesus and celebrate God in this place. Amen. You are all welcome to this special Thanksgiving service. God has been good to us. We want to thank God from January up until now. God has been good. Amen. Oh, amen. Now, in Psalm 107, verse 1 and verse 2, very popular scripture. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercies endures forever. Verse 2, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Those whom he has redeemed from the hands of the enemy. And so when God does something for you, he expects that you come and thank him. Amen. And one way we can thank God is through an offering. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 13 from verse 15. Hebrews 13, 15. One way we can thank God is to give God an offering. Hebrews 13. Therefore, by him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise. Praise, I, I, for a long time, I just I thought it was just singing. But in praising God, there is an iota of sacrifice. Hallelujah. The sacrifice of praise to God. The sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name. 16. 16. Verse 16. Do not forget to do good and to share. It is part of your thanksgiving to God. Hallelujah. So your giving, your doing good, and your sharing in the house of God is part and parcel of your thanksgiving to God. Praise God. And so this morning, I want you to lift an offering. And you are saying, God, this is a sacrifice of praise to your name. A sacrifice of gratitude for everything you have done for us and you continue to do. Amen. Please package an offering and lift it up. God expects us to give a sacrifice of praise. Please lift up an offering to the Lord. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this morning even for the opportunity to sow our seeds in your house. We pray that you command your blessings upon our lives and upon everything that we do. In Jesus' name, Amen. And so, as usual, I'll be coming from my left. When you come in, please drop it in, sanitize your hands, and you go through the right and sit down. However, if you have a testimony to share, today is Thanksgiving. We're coming to thank God for everything he has done for us. And so today, no one is permitted to sit on your testimony. If you have a testimony to share, when you drop your offering, please come to the entrance. Myself and a couple of pastors will be there to take your testimony. God bless you. Offering.
you for coming i'm glad to be sitting by you today and assure them on this special day of thanksgiving assure them on this special day of thanksgiving you will certainly have a testimony to tell amen let's clap for the lord amen yeah so we want to quickly um, zoom in into the uh, communion service Okay, before the program continues, we have a lot of things for you today. After the communion, I think we'll take testimonies. And, 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 and God has done a lot for us, you know, the whole of the year, 365 days. You cannot tell me God has not been good to you. If not for anything, at least for the mere fact that he gave you the gift of life. That alone is enough. And I think um, for the fact that he gave me as your pastor... You have to be grateful to God. <laughs> hey, aren't you happy I'm your pastor? It's a blessing to have a good pastor over your life. Praise the Lord. All right, so you want to just come and thank God for whatever he has done for you, a good job, a well-paid salary, divine protection, favor, the hand of God on you, your home, your health. He's done so much, so we'll come and thank him. And then, um, after that, we're going to allow um, our um, singers to minister. I think um, Brother Pa will be ministering. And after that, Pastor Precious will minister. And after her, um, Minister um, Frank will minister. And after that, Pastor Adorable will minister. Reverend Adorable will minister. You see, and they are all taking five, five, five minutes. And we won't say, shall we welcome? As soon as your time comes, you just step in. Then just freestyle, just flow. Then, then we'll be dancing along, singing, worshiping with them. Please, don't sit there and watch us as if if not for anything, the mere fact that you are not dead and you are alive is enough reason to praise and celebrate him. Can I hear an Amen. And after that, the word of God will come. And after the preaching of the word, uh, my son, Rashid, is he here? Did he come? Yes, he also take us through some powerful praise and worship. And then afterwards, we'll just take our special envelopes. And then we'll do our small fundraising. And then we'll do the kofiniyama for the building. We have the brass band at the back. And they will also rock the place for us. It, it's a celebration day. Let's just, can we clap and celebrate God? Mo, 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 mo. Me, I've started my own. Mo, 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 mo. It's 
First is about the blood of Jesus. We keep reminding ourselves when we come to the altar or we come to the table, communion table, that the once lived the man, lived the man called Jesus, who on Calvary's cross was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace was laid upon him, and by his stripes we were healed. So you remind yourself as you are coming to the table that. The wine is a type of the blood of Jesus and the blood of Jesus washes away all my sins. Are we together? Are we together? All right. So you come to the table without understanding. Jesus said, do it as often as you can in remembrance of me. So the often in English grammar often varies. It could be weekly, monthly, daily, hourly, quarterly. 
but the church we have decided to do it monthly we come to the communion table as often as we can in remembrance of him we remind ourselves that that we are sitting here is not because we are cute immaculate beautiful pretty educated but that we are sitting here is simply because the blood of jesus forgive us of all our sins anybody forgive him hallelujah then again we still see the blood that brings protection to our lives because when they were having the exodus the last night before their departure the lord spoke to them to kill animals and smear their doorposts with the blood of the animals and when the angel of death is passing if he sees the blood of the animals it will pass over them in the new covenant the blood of jesus is stronger than the blood of bulls and the blood of lambs and animals and so when we come to the table you are in your mind saying i plead the blood of jesus as a protection the covering over me my family and everybody connected to me now if the blood of animals could stay away death the blood of jesus can do more the blood of jesus can protect you from accident premature death in these months of the baba october september november december people are dying accidents are taking place but you and your house are immune insulated and protected from impending dangers and premature death no weapon against you around this season shall prosper and any muff that will rise up against you in judgment it shall be condemned simply because of the blood of jesus that covers your life 24 7 can we clap for the blood of jesus so when you are coming to the table have it in your mind that partaking of the communion apart from my sins forgiven i'm receiving covering and protection for my life then the third is the, br the bread as we take in the bread you see yourself like the bread is the broken body of jesus that christ's body was broken on calvary they had to break him they had to beat him you know and all the pains he went through so that no sickness can afflict you and break your body anymore so that it brings healing to your body so as you are partaking of the bread you are seeing that every sickness in my body is taken away from me and i'm receiving my wholeness and my healing i've been preaching for 33 years by the grace of god but because i believe in the communion i don't grow old i grow young exercise is good i exercise i walk this morning i walk from my house to church and then walk back i mean every day at least one hour i walk i believe in exercise but exercise brings fitness communion brings wholeness and we need to be whole and that's why we have to come to the table so that any high blood pressure diabetes cancer liver problem kidney issues as you partake of the communion the bread is dealing with every sickness that's the broken body so you can have the fullness of life that christ came with for you that's why we come to the table now qualification you have to be born again so that you are coming remind yourself that if the blood could save me this is just a symbol to connect with the blood as often as I can. So if you are here and you are not born again, you want to lift your hands, all of us. Let's lift our hands up, everybody, all of us. Say, Jesus, you are my Lord and my Savior. Every sin I've committed, forgive me. Come and live in me. Change me and I will serve you the rest of my days. As I partake of the communion, every sickness in my body is cursed i receive healing in the name of jesus i receive divine protection in the name of jesus amen well clap for yourselves so get me the um, table and let the pastors come Chad, let's stand i hope everybody has his communion night element okay so pick them and then dickens and dicknesses please serve them serve them amen Church, let's stand to our feet. For it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, the blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never, 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 never lose. 
it's mine Of the blood that Jesus shed For me Those on TV and on social media Don't take, don't take me off They have to be on Get your element Get your you can get some biscuits, some bread, whatever. Get some wine. If you don't have wine, get some juice, whatever. Non-alcoholic, of course. Or get water, whatever. Find something. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Now lift all your elements up. We sanctify them. It's no more wine. It's no more bread. This is the broken body of Jesus and, and the blood of Jesus. And as we partake of the communion, we receive life and life to the full. We receive divine protection. We remind ourselves that our sins are forgiven and we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Thank you for grace. In the precious name of Jesus we've prayed. I command sickness to leave. I command sicknesses to leave. And I speak wholeness into the atmosphere. Amen. So pastors please. Church. Open the seal. The bread. The wine gives me strength from day to day. It won't be you can put the cup somewhere and lift your hands up. That's precious. Let's just worship the same song. To the highest mountain. And as we are worshiping, plead the blood of Jesus on your life. And throughout this last month of the year, into the new year, plead the blood of Jesus on your children, your business, your marriage, your finance, everything about you, your jobs. Come on, plead the blood. From the Celebrate the blood. I cover you and your household with the blood of Jesus. I cover your influence with the blood. I cover your going out and your coming in with the blood. And if the enemy shall rise up against you like a flood, may God through the blood lift up a standard against him. No weapon against you shall prosper. And every tongue that will rise against me in judgment shall be condemned. Because of the blood, may goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. And may you dwell in the house of God forever. I cover every member of our CC, those who are here and those who are not. That the finger of God will walk you through this latter part of the year. Receive health, receive wholeness. I curse sicknesses. And I deploy angelic assistance and divine covering. And I pray that on your altar, the blood of Jesus that speaks better thing than that of Abel will speak on your behalf 24-7. Go and succeed. Go and break through. As we come in with the Lord, we bless our CC 
and declare that the members of this church will be rich they will prosper in whatever they do nobody amongst us dies prematurely I mark you and your children and I mark your house and cover you from armed robbery attacks and I pray that as the Noah of your time in the midst of this financial flood may your ark sit on top of the waters when businesses are going down your business will survive I bless everything about you and I declare you are the head and not the tail you are above and not beneath you are on top and not at the bottom in Jesus mighty name Amen well clap your hands and take your seats God bless you pastors Amen. Let's welcome Reverend Charles for the testimonies. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's now time to take our testimonies and appreciate God, what God has done for us. Um, today, because today is a Thanksgiving service, we'll share the testimonies now, but in case you came late, or when you came, we had finished receiving the testimonies, you can still come to me. We'll create another avenue to share your testimony. Amen. I want to start today with Mrs. Arthur. Mrs. Arthur, let's clap for her. Amen. She's thanking God for her life and the life of our father, the prophet. Celebrate the anointed in the house. Amen. And so she said she had a very severe stomach ache after last week's handkerchief direction and so she was immobile because of the pain but she was planning to go to the hospital to go and check what was happening because the pain was so much the husband had gone to work she called the husband and said don't go to the hospital take the handkerchief and put it on your stomach she believed the net took the handkerchief placed it on her stomach, and then she fell off into sleep. She woke up, and up till now, she's looking for the pain and cannot find the pain. I want to thank God. Come on, celebrate God for this testimony. Amen. God bless you. And that said, anything our Father tells you to do, do it, because it is a point of contact for our blessings. Amen. The second one, is the one that shook me when we we're receiving it. Our brother Michael Eze. Michael Eze, please come forward. Please come forward. Please come forward. Come forward. Let's keep clapping for him. Let's keep clapping for him. Please don't stop clapping. Don't stop clapping. This is a very powerful testimony. Don't stop clapping. Okay. So for those of you who were at the all night, you know our brother. For, I don't know if I should recap for those who are not here. And so next time, come for all night. And so our, our father prophesied on him that he's into a certain kind of life. If he doesn't stop, he sees that police has arrested him and he's in serious problem. And so our father prayed for him. He gave his life to Jesus at the all night. He went home and he went to sleep. He said at about 2 a.m., he suddenly felt like waking up and going to buy something. So he decided to go and buy water. He got up at 2 p.m., went to buy water. On his return, a distance away from his house, he realized that there were policemen in his house. And he, he, he doesn't stay alone. He stays with some of his friends who are also in two. About three of them were in the house. All of them are in police custody. He's the only person that is not with the police. 
If you are sitting now, it means you don't understand what is happening. If you are sitting now, you don't understand what is happening. God bless you. Please take your seat. So he's here today to thank God for his life. To thank God for the anointing and the anointed man of God in this house. Celebrate grace. Come on, celebrate the grace of God. Amen. It was when he came to share the testimony in the office, he was saying that he doesn't know how, but he's the, among all his friends, he's the only person that was not arrested. And I said that there's a prophecy on your head. Today, may every prophecy speak for you in the name of Jesus. The third one is our Dickness Harriet. Let's appreciate Dickness Harriet. Oh. Today is a Thanksgiving Sunday. Let's appreciate God for what he's doing. And so our Dickness wants to thank God for her life and the life of her children. This week, herself and her daughter both celebrated their birthdays. And she wants to thank God for their lives. Oh, come on, celebrate God for life. Amen. God bless you. The next is Reverend Adorable. Reverend Adorable, please let's appreciate. She's thanking God for her life and that of her family. And she also wants to thank God for the anointed man of God in the house. Let's appreciate our father one more time. Amen. She's thanking God for delivering herself and her family from the spirit of death. And she's also thanking God for the ability to raise new altars and godly altars in her family. She wants to thank Bishop for the teachings. If you've not been coming for this two weeks, get all the day's teachings on altars. It has been very, very powerful, and testimonies are coming out of it. She wants to thank God and thank our Father for the teachings he has been giving to us this period of fasting and prayers. It has brought liberation to her and her family. She will say, Daddy, God bless you, and God bless you for being a pastor over her soul. Amen. Let's appreciate Reverend Adorable. And then number five. And then hold to a testimonies and come back later. Nana Ama Ajiman. Nana Ama Ajiman. Please let's clap for her. Don't stop clapping. This is another very powerful testimony. Amen. She's also thanking God for her life and the life of her father, Bishop Brookman. He says that her story started in 2018. When she chanced on Rima TV while she was in Guinea on an assignment. And so whilst in Guinea, she started watching Rima TV. She kept watching. And then when she came back to Ghana, she decided to... She received an invitation for an all-night service in May 2019. May, it means we're still in Hachu by then, May 2019, from a friend. So she, with excitement, she came to the all night. She, she, had, she was staying in Dansuman, but she was also a member of another church I don't want to mention. But once in a while on Sundays and almost every Tuesday, she would drive from Dansuman to Hachu just to be part of the service. In July 2019, it means we had moved here. Daddy prophesied on her life that in seven months, God is going to do something in your life that will change the, your story forever. The next month in August, after the prophecy, it means the next month, she received a full scholarship for a master's program in Aust Australia. She received a full scholarship 
to do her master's in Australia. She had been chasing this scholarship for over a year. But when Bishop prophesied on her in July, in August, the scholarship she had been chasing for over a year was released to her. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And up until now, up until then, sorry, she had not perceived that it was a prophecy that had started working until she arrived in Australia in February 2020. And then she, she calculated and realized that February, seven months, seven months from when the prophecy came, she was in Australia. Bishop said, I'm giving you seven months. Something will happen to your life. By the seventh month, she was in Australia. And then the scholarship was such that she, free tuition, free accommodation, and money for upkeep. Thank you, Jesus. Tuition covered, accommodation covered, and she was receiving stipends for upkeep. And then, on top of it, she had a working visa. So she was not just schooling, she had the opportunity to work as well. She's back in Ghana after two years. And according to her, the prophecy was such that Bishop said, the blessing coming, you get a new car out of it and you get a house. She arrived in Ghana, has bought a car and has bought a house. Oh, come on, celebrate the grace of God. And when the prophecy came, she was staying at Dansoman. When she was buying the house, because of where we, we are now, she bought the house at Kwabenya to be able to come to church. Amen. And so she wants to thank God and wants to thank our Father for the prophecies especially the sermons and the teaching. says the sermons and the teaching has been a great blessing to her. And she wants to thank God and the bishop for availing himself. Let's appreciate God as she takes her seat. God bless you. Amen. The prophecy is done. Like our father said, we have four powerful ministers to minister to us. Padani, Pastor Precious, Frank and Reverend Adorable Testimony. And so we'll do it in part two. We'll come back and then read the rest as and when we go. Okay, All right. with Bishop's permission, I can go on. Millicent Saki. Millicent Saki. Millicent Saki. Amen. She wants to thank God for her life and for the fact that she's alive this morning. Amen. Within the week, I think we're going somewhere and then Bishop, out of the blue, said, ah, where is Millicent? It's a long time I saw her in church. Make sure I see her. So I, I, I that it was death meant for her. The way the blood was sprinkled all over, all around the room. She believes that the prophet saw something. Prayer went on. That is how come she's alive this morning. And so she's standing here wanting to thank God that even in absentia, the oil is still covering her life. Amen. God bless you. Amen. And so please, let's have our ministers come up quickly and bless us five, five minutes each. Amen. Please, let's be snappy. Please, let's be snappy. And so, Minister Daniel will start, Pastor Precious, Frank, and the Reverend Adorable. Amen. Come on, clap hands for Jesus.
quickly with our Dickness, Dickness Bennis. Let's appreciate Dickness Bennis as she comes forward. Oh, please appreciate Dickness. Amen. Her own is three in one, so we'll wrap it up quickly. First of all, she wants to thank God for her life and the life of her children. One of them just completed SHS and then the other one just wrote B.C. She's thanking God for their lives and what God is doing for them. The second testimony is that when our father was out of the country, on one of the days he was doing Facebook Live, she connected. And then Bishop said, before he arrives in Ghana, she will have a testimony. Now, there was this contract she was chasing. There was this contract she was chasing. The prophecy was that before I arrive in Ghana, you have a testimony. On the day Bishop was supposed to arrive in Ghana, they called her to come. I don't know if you are getting it. On the day Papa was supposed to set off and come to Ghana, because the deadline was that before I enter Ghana, you have to have your testimony. So the moment Bishop decided I am coming on this day, that day, she was called to come for contract. And she's thanking God for her life because after that, there were a lot of turbulence, but her father's prayer and covering, she has been able to sail through, and she's standing here thanking God. And then finally, among all the three, this is what touched me. That consecutively for the last five or six years, six years, every year somebody has to die. And this is the first year in six years nobody has died. He say either a cousin or a spouse or a sister or a, somebody has to die. And for the past six years, every year, but after she joined and came under the covering of this anointing. This is the only year they have not buried anybody. Amen. God bless you. Please take your seat. There's another very powerful testimony. Mr. Kwekubwati. Mr. Kwekubwati. Come on, slap it. Those of you who are there all night, you understand. Celebrate God for life. Celebrate God for life. Celebrate God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. What you want, son? Is so that's fine. He's standing here, wants to thank God for his life and his complete liberation. Complete and total liberation. Our father prayed for him at the all night. He had a dream and he saw a snake biting him in the dream. When he woke up, he had the mark of the bite on his hands. And since then, his left hand had been immobile. But after the all night, he's standing here thanking God because he's free. Amen. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Your <laughs> Papa, <laughs> It's our honor, no more, but you're Celebrate God. Amen. We are thanking God for testimonies like this. Amen. The next one is our sister Benis. Our sister Benis. Benis in Katia. Please let's appreciate Benis. Amen. She's also thanking God for her life and the life of our father, the bishop. I think one of the Tuesdays, it was a Tuesday service, Bishop picked the, prayed for her, that somebody had apparently sprinkled something on the ground, she stepped in it, and she was having some reactions leading to paralysis. But after the prayer, she's fine. All the symptoms have disappeared. And she's alive today, and today is her birthday as well. She wants to thank God. She wants to thank God. And it was such that today being her birthday or before her birthday, the attack was supposed to end her life. But she's standing here today alive, thanking God for another year. Please let's appreciate God. Amen. Last but one, our sister Miriam. Miriam, please come forward. Let's appreciate Miriam. Our sister Miriam also wants to thank God for her life and the life of our father. Said when we started the fasting and prayer, she was not well at all. But one of the days, she forced herself to come to church. And Bishop picked her, prayed for her. And when she went home, the symptoms had disappeared. Amen. 
But the following morning, she woke up and the symptoms wanted to come back. And she said that my bishop has prayed for me. I invoked those prayers. And suddenly the symptoms vanished. And up till now, she is free. And she is well. She has a second testimony. They were doing some job rotation at work. And they moved her to a department or they gave her an assignment or a job she had nothing, she knew nothing about. I don't know if it was a setup for her to fail. So she was considering resigning. She came to see her father and papa. I think one of the services picked her up and said, go for the job. I said, Bishop, this is not what I learned in school. I have no idea. Said, go for the job. And from last year, she went for the job. She's performing well. And because she had no idea about the thing, she decided to go for another degree to get knowledge about where she has been posted. She has done two out of three years and wants to thank God that by the prophecy, her life is turning around. She's working well and God has been good to her. Amen. God bless you. And then... Finally, our sister Beatrice. Sister Beatrice from the choir, please clap for her. Amen. She also wants to thank God for her life. She said, one thing she said was that this year has been a difficult year. But since she joined the church, she has started seeing changes in her life. Amen. She said one Tuesday, she saw two birds on her roof. They just landed on her roof and they started fighting. The birds started fighting. And it was as if somebody was breaking, wanted to break the roofing in. And she didn't understand, but she knew it was one of those attacks. Until one of the days, Bishop called her prayed for her and said there was an attack on her life, cancelled it. And then she said that since then, the birds have not come back. And she said, for now, they have disappeared. I said, it is not for now. They are not coming back again. Because once our father has prayed and comforted you, the birds are not coming back again. She traveled. She came back. She was actually afraid to travel because of the issues surrounding her life but she wants to thank God she has traveled, she has come back no accident, nothing happened to her, she's alive she wants to thank God, God bless you, Amen and so we'll have the dancers coming to bless us Amen Oh Amen And so, <laughs> these are pro protocol dances. <laughs> Listen, we are here to celebrate God. We are here to bless the name of God. Amen. So today, dance with us. The dancers are around. They came with music, but they would rather the brass band please for them to dance. Yeah, so let's receive that the dancers to come and Give us a powerful ministration. Come on, appreciate them. Appreciate them. Appreciate them. Please keep clapping for them. Please keep clapping for them.
Amen. All right. Amen. Thank you very much. All right. Let's appreciate them. Oh, come on. Appreciate them. We are thanking God in every way. Amen. Okay. It is now time to receive our Thanksgiving envelopes. It's now time to receive our Thanksgiving envelopes. And during the week, we kept saying that we are coming today with an envelope, a special appreciation to thank God for your life. If you don't have an envelope as of yet, just lift your hand and usher will walk to you and save you with an envelope. But if you have, lift your envelope up. Let us appreciate God. Today is the 4th of January. 4th of December. 4th of December. We are, we are already in January, don't worry. <laughs> and so today is 4th. We are left with just 27 more days. And the year is over. God has been good. Amen. And so with our hands, we want to express what is in our hearts. Please lift them up. Our Father, I want to thank you this morning. As an expression of our gratitude, these are our offerings. Look upon them and let a blessing come upon our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. And so we are thanking God. Let's come dancing. Let's come praising God and celebrating him for what we, he has done for us. So please, ushers, direct. Let's have some good music and let us go.
Thanksgiving to God. Hallelujah. All right. Now we'll receive the choir to be a blessing unto us as they minister unto the Lord. Please let's receive the RCC choir to be a blessing this morning. Please appreciate them. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. Oh, you're too down for me. You're too down for me. You're too... Charlie, you should be putting your hands together and flowing in thanksgiving and giving the Lord a good show. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to bless the name of the Lord. Amen.
together and go to about 10 people hug them shake them and tell them congratulations 12 days you've done well come on go ahead just have a hands together hallelujah you see the only person who is not excited today is the devil and so if you believe you are in the right company I want to see you clap and shout your two hands up you want to do one prayer on this altar that father from now to the end of the year do for me what no man can within seven days father give me a miracle of a lifetime change my story give me a testimony after this fasting and prayer let new chapters be opened in my life you are serving a prayer answering God who answers by fire and so lift your hands say in the name of jesus as i clap and i lift up prayer i receive a miracle within the next seven days come on clap those hands and lift up prayer let me hear prayer i can't hear you come on church Eta branca da gashi proteste karadita kababaya Eko bakata shada da da bahaya Eka tani akese kredeste karadita Lebaga da hasada da da baya shatata Come on clap your hands and lift up prayer Lebo kadaba zi predeste karadita tasta Leka tani abeste kala shatakata Eka baka shada da ada Leka baka shata kablata Ebra da 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 kasata, le kabaka shata kasata, ela kabaka taka bata, ebra da 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 kasata da baya, ebra da shata kabla kata, le 
Kobakata Shata, Pata Kata Bata, Ela Kapata Kalabata, Ekrasata Kablata, Lekama Baba Baku Shana Dabaya, Ela Kabakata Blakataria, Ebraka Santani Kateshteke, Lekaboko Shana Bata, Lekantani Akedi Katasta, Ebrada Dabaka Shadaha, Ekada Yada Dakadasha, in Jesus mighty name. Start fire three times. Fire, fire, fire. And take your seat in the presence of God. Give me Matthew chapter 8 from the verses numbers 4, numbers 1 to 4. Matthew 8, 1 to 4. Matthew 8, 1 to 4. When he had come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, a leper came and worshipped him. Saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing. Be cleansed. Immediately, his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus said to him, see that you tell nobody, but go your way and show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. The power of thanksgiving. The power of thanksgiving. Now, we are all conversant with this story. Jesus on one of his errands during his early ministry had this leper stumbled into him. The leper knelt and prostrated, worship, and made a request that if you are willing, thou can make me clean. And Jesus said, I'm willing, be thou cleansed. And immediately the leper was healed. Now when he got his healing, Jesus told him, Make sure you don't tell anybody, but go straight to the priest and tell him. And show yourself to him and let him know and examine you to testify of the miracle the Lord has wrought in your life. Now, a couple of salient points there want to digest or maybe glean through and then we'll be done for today. Number one, we saw from this story that God can give you an immediate miracle. Because as soon as Jesus touched him, the Bible said immediately he was healed. Now, if you are a student of the Bible, you will attest of the fact that leprosy doesn't just go like that. If you were sick of leprosy in the old covenant, you were to wear a Sakura haircut. You were given a particular cloth that identified you as a leper. You were supposed to be screaming every now and then, I'm unclean, I'm unclean, I'm unclean, so that anybody coming your way will stay out of touch because they found that leprosy was so contagious that anybody who get close to you could be infected by it. So every now and then you have to be screaming, I'm unclean, I'm unclean. And to make matters worse, you were to be quarantined or you were to be isolated. So in those days, leprosy is like our today, the coronavirus. You were segregated from the congregation. You were not permitted to come close to your family. Nobody gets close to you because they felt that so people get close to you, you would infect them with your leprosy. So your wife, your children, your cousins, your nieces, your nephews, nobody gets close to you. This was the plight of this man. Now he comes to Jesus and Jesus heals him immediately. When I read it, I realized that if there is any bad problem contending with you and we are left with some few days into the new year you can receive an immediate miracle you can receive an immediate visitation if leprosy was healed instantly then get ready a new door can open in seven hours a new chapter can open in seven days if you believe it stand up clap and shout yes 
tell three people around you I see an immediate miracle happening to you right now I just saw a marital door open I saw a financial door open I saw an international door open I saw an educational door open somebody's having a scholarship to travel to Canada receive an immediate miracle if you believe it stand up and scream yes sit down I saw again from the story can I preach that no condition is permanent I could be ostracized today relegated to the background probably humiliated gone through moments of despondencies negativities name it whatever I could be a leper today but within a split second God can turn situations around that's why don't despise yourself and take yourself for granted if you didn't come in with a car, that doesn't mean you will not drive the rest of your life. It is just a life in progress. My life is under construction. You are not clapping at all. Now let's, let's assume Mr. Fari is a leper. Now I'm separated from him because I'm not supposed to get close to him otherwise I could be infected. And for many weeks and months, probably days, I've never met him. Then, the next thing I see is that I meet him in town. And he's dancing all over the place. And I'm like, hey, you are a leper? I said, no, I'm not a leper. I said, what happened? And he says, a man called Jesus healed me. Look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm healed totally. So I realized there's no condition that is permanent. I could be poor today, but give me only seven days. Ayabaka shadada bahaya. That's why I'm certain that God is about to turn your mess into a message. He's about to turn your test into a testimony. He's about to turn your curse into a blessing. He's about to turn your torture into a better future. If you believe within seven days, a miracle can happen to you that will change your story. Stand up and scream. Your shouting is not born again. The louder your shout, the more the miracles will happen on your life. sit down then number three i saw that you don't have to treat everybody the same learn to treat people differently dependent on their pedigrees in life their level of associations with you for instance look at me don't treat me the same way you treat pastor charles because we are standing in different levels. I'm your senior pastor. He's your resident pastor. Learn to treat people differently. We are all pastors, but there are levels. Am I communicating here? Now, let me show you why. Give me the chapter number eight, the one read by the verse number four. Snappy. Verse four. Verse four. And Jesus said to him, see that you tell no one. Now, we are all grammatically correct. He told him, tell no one. But after he was done telling, telling him, don't tell anybody, a conjunction, comma, or whatever, then, but go your way and show yourself to the priest. Is the priest not part of the no one? So I realized that some people, you are told not to tell them anything, but there are some people, you are to give them attention. Which means that there are different levels of people around your life. So don't treat them equally. In one instance, he's telling the man, don't tell anybody of the miracle. But then in another instance, he's telling the man, make sure that you tell the priest. So I realize that you don't treat people the same. Did you get what I said? The one who gives you salary must be treated different from the one who meets you on the road and just greets you. Now tell somebody, don't treat me like everybody. Don't treat me. Tell the I'm your Christian brother, I'm your Christian sister. You should treat me like one. Don't hate me. Love me. Respect me. Appreciate me. T tell the person, I, I could be praying for you to have a miracle. So treat me like that. Say, I'm not ordinary in your life. I'm your Christian sister. You cannot be in church and not talk to me. We are. And for a long time, I've been asking myself a couple of questions. Why would Jesus tell the man never to tell anybody? But go particularly to the priest and tell him. Now, in those days, the priests were like the Noguchi people. If you had 
the various they were the people who will examine and assess you and then they will condemn you that you have leprosy and then they will put you in isolation okay so in essence the priest was the one who probably quarantined this leper and put him somewhere now so for him to be healed jesus was like go show yourself to him to prove to him that you thought i was going to, I was going to be like this forever look at what the lord has done then god spoke to me to come and tell you anybody who was part of their plot and their amalgamation to make sure they destroy you god will say turn you you go and show yourself to them that you thought i was dead i'm alive by 31st there will be a major comeback you go and show yourself to people that you thought i was going to be useless look at what god has done him Oh, I thought somebody is in the house. Uh, they thought they were finishing you, but they will see glory manifesting in your life, and you go and show yourself to them. Stand up, clap, and scream like your voice is yours. Sit down. And when I on the dream say, it's only them who are supposed to have wedding, but they will see your wedding invitation cards. They thought they are the people alone who would be due for the tendering of the contract so they can have the contract. But they would just hear a name of your company and they will hear that you won the contract of two million US dollars and they'll say, How possible? She doesn't have the qualification. Who are the people who took her to the shrine to destroy her? How come she's so blessed? You tell them God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above what you think of us. Can you clap and shout here? Yes. I said, shout yes. I said, shout yes. I said, shout yes. Then finally, this brings me to my message the power of appreciation. Go and show yourself to the priest and give an offering to testify. Of what the Lord has done for you based on what Moses gave us a law. Now, let's be very honest. Can I be real? And some of you, that's all you do. God gave you the job, and the first thing you thought about was your family. You never thought about God. Some of you are living in very good houses. You don't care whether we complete the building or not. Just at your back is meanwhile, it was prayer that kept you. Kawu and Katiafa so when in pass and kawaya bakwati. But God kept you, and all you think about is your home, your family, your children. Can I say this? Do you know the devil is against this service? The message I was supposed to preach, for some strange reason, may iPad not cause a threat. No message and I'm so sorry. It's a different message though. Me jina wana nam prepare. They are making energy and I'm prepare. And Satan, you thought you were destroying the message, but this is the best message. They love it. Allah kapa kashata la bahaya. Lift your leg and scream yes. The good news is that I didn't egumiyem egumiyem egumiyem. Kija wuna na yete teke siapa. Sit down. But I think somebody made my iPad fail or something. So when the ball from my baby. A ball from you and a back home was a metuba huma baku. Hallelujah. But but it's a good mistake. I'm a man a nice message and it's going yeah, any day. Once my channel just what the ball from <laughs> can I continue now so my tricking my tricking but Tom Flood Tom Flood <laughs> amen amen so what I'm saying is that it's enough proof that the future is still glorious you are not clapping at all Jesus told him, go and show yourself to the priest. Go. 
Come a peer corner be fired with the Moko Chemabushian for a Jemmy cousins, nieces, no near dear, and son of Mia, my premature men's and Moko Jammy, priest in all. Say, or condemn me. Yanya, you cried and said, Befa no cra. Hello, and may lay hands on him, and we may lay hands on him much and said, Next time, who should be a man? I in the house, but the man obeyed Jesus and went straight to the priest and showed himself to him and gave an offering to the priest. Now, wait a minute. I can go and show myself to him, but to give an offering to a priest who has condemned me. No, please, I won't do it. Now, the name of the man who is a priest and reject, and that's what you're offering. No. Now, we'll be a what's in your quarter. May this car brought there. What is Kano? Come to what Tema and my pressure about. But I realize that in good times and in bad times, we still have to be grateful to God and show gratitude. Why, my team? If you have a bomb pipe, yes, yes, on combi, but then be my senior set. But Kaisa and Yamia Mongo Kaisa and Yamia Bong, who by Kai, this is India would take a young girl's William Guiasi, but God came through and whisked you out. Meaning, pass a banner, my. But God has been good. God has been so good to you that you can't say, God, I can't be grateful. That's why we have come today to appreciate him. And I saw four things about this man, four good things that I want us to look at. Number one, no matter how bad situations are, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Now, let's be very honest that you have been quarantined for how many months or years, I don't know, that he went through. Brothers, sisters, cousins, nieces, nephews, everybody driven away from him. All of them drawn away from him. What him say? Rejection and isolation can let you have depression and you could probably um, kill yourself or something. Yes. You can drink something and just end it. You could have committed suicide. Hallelujah. Ah, nanani. That was a me baby. Could have committed suicide. Or committed me anything. But the man kept hoping, kept holding on. Catch up, he said, hold on, don't lose it. Hold on. Now tell your neighbor, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know sir bro trade on him be okay I'm fabulous and I'm out when in pass and no me be uncle but hold on don't give up hold on still keep believing God if it didn't happen in November it will happen in December if it doesn't happen in December it will happen in January ladies and gentlemen don't give up don't throw in the towel don't bow out don't check it out looking onto Jesus the altar and the finisher of your faith if it didn't happen yesterday it will happen today if it doesn't happen today it will happen tomorrow if it doesn't happen tomorrow it will happen tomorrow next hold on you are not clapping at all See, I'm, 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 I'm enthused about the man's attitude that he was holding on. Now, what he baby will be a male. Now, if you know leprosy, I say, Kotana, I say, a crew to two. Now, once now, Obia said, the neighbor will be the one here and in ma. Now, you are the queen, we are said the same. He could have decided to have given up, probably ended it to cut his head off, drink some poison. Or maybe even decide that when they were calling him that Jesus was in town, he should go and see him. He could have said, Oh, please, my brain, my brain, I'm so funny, Ghana, so funny, my people, you're the baby. Nan de Cornwall, Malatia, ye, your cobrus, ye, the best in Coatico, and ye, and most of the Bacons, the Pokias, your own baby. Never, never, my brain. He could have, but don't give up, hold on. Because miracle is on the way coming. Jesus Christ. Uh, the Lord opened my eyes. And I saw in the spirit that within seven days, somebody here will have a testimony of a lifetime. Your amen is a Chinese amen. I said within seven days, believe in the prophet and you prosper. As you believe in the prophet, may you receive a miracle. So don't lose your expectation. Now give me Proverbs 23, 18. Proverbs 23, 18. Surely, 
Proverbs 23, 18. Surely. Surely. Now that word surely is a statement of affirmation. Surely there is an or a hereafter. There is a hereafter. forever. There is a hereafter. Within seven days. There is a here. No, no, no condition is permanent. There is a hereafter. And your expectation or your hope will not be cut off. The hope you have. Hope is a positive expectation of good. I have an expectation positively. That something good will happen to me. Despite what I'm going through. And the Bible is saying that surely there is a hereafter. And your hope, your expectation shall not be cut off. I believe the man had hope. And had, had an expectation. That even if times are bad. And I've been told I'm a leper. And I cannot become the best I'm supposed to be. I'm still hoping. I don't know where my help is coming from. But I know some way somehow. But the close of the day i will have food on my table by the close of the day i will have a car to drive by the close of the day a new job shall be granted me if you believe me receive the miracle expectation is very important no matter what don't lose your expectation some scientists did an experiment i think i've said it here and they took two rats and they put both of them in two barrels. One barrel was full of water, but totally covered with the rat in it. Then the other one was in a barrel full of water, and then they had opened the barrel. They came the next day, the rat in the barrel full of water that was covered was dead. Then they went, and after six days, they came back, and the rat in the barrel full of water that was not covered was in it, and it died, I think, on the city day or so. Then they concluded the experiment by saying that the one in the barrel full of water that was totally covered died because of number one, heat. Number two, because of the total darkness, it had no expectation and no hope that somebody was coming to redeem it. So he died. Now the other one was able to stay in a little longer because it had hope. Because seeing the rays of light beaming through the hole, it had hope that somebody was coming to redeem it. So the hope alone sustained it for six days. And the conclusion of the experiment was that People who have expectation, they live longer than those who don't have expectation. Are you, are you with me? Come on, Zion. Are you in the house? And so no matter what, maintain an expectation. Because your expectations shall never be cut off. The man didn't break. Even though the priest, the priest could be his senior pastor, had driven him out of town, he still was having hope that somehow, somehow, God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above what I think or as somehow, somehow, he will heal me and supply my needs according to his riches and glory. The man kept believing, kept trusting, and kept hoping until a miracle came through for him. I know we are left with some few 20 something days, but my God can do a miracle in seven hours. He can do a miracle in seven minutes. He can do a miracle in seven seconds. That's why don't give up. Even by 31st December, a chapter can open and turn things around. Can you clap and shout yes? Expectation. Expectation. Number two. I love something about the man. He came. The Bible said, give me the verse one. Matthew 8, the verse number one. Snap, snap, snap. Matthew 8, verse 1. When he had come down from the he came down. He came down. He could have decided to have been on top of the mountain and be hidden, isolated from people. But he came down. And those days were a leper. And the priest quarantines you and put you on top of the mountain and segregates you. And you come back to the people, you could be stoned. So for the man to have left the place where the high priest put him and to have come down from the mountain to be in the midst of the people to come see Jesus, the consequence was grave. They could have stoned him, they could have finished him. They, but I realized that in life sometimes you got to take some risks. The guy took a risk and came to Jesus. And by the time the whole scenario ended, because he came, he had a miracle. Give me Matthew eleven twenty-eight. 28. Matthew 11, the verse number 28. The Bible says in Matthew 11, the verse number 28, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, 
and I will give you rest. Are you laboring? Are you of a heavy laden? Are you depressed? Are you frustrated? Are you down, discouraged, despondent? Are you frustrated? Are you in pain? Are you bitter against life? Have you been disappointed a couple of times ever since the year began? I came to tell you, Jesus has come unto me. All that labor and a heavy laden is calling you from the left, from the right. He's calling Fantis, calling Ashantis, calling Nigerians and calling the Enzimas and calling the Evans, calling everybody who has gone through any moment of negativity. Come to him. Why? Because in his presence there is liberty. At his right hand are pleasures forevermore. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagles. They will run. They will not be weary. They will walk. They will never faint. You have come to Mount Zion. If you come into his presence, a miracle will happen. And I'm happy you came today. Get ready. Is it leprosy? He will change your story. He will give you a testimony. Can you stand up, clap, and shout yes your shouting is not strong i said shout yes tell somebody you came not tell anybody you came get ready for a miracle hebrews 11 6 sit down hebrews 11 6 without faith it is impossible to please god don't come to church without faith come to church with your faith spectacles on whilst we are dancing dance with faith whilst we are shouting shout with faith whilst we are clapping clap with faith without faith it's impossible to please god he that comes to god must believe that god is and that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him god is increase the volume a bit god is and that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him and so he that comes to god must believe that god can reward if you came today i see rewards coming on every side i see financial rewards i see business rewards i see marital rewards i see educational rewards receive your rewards and church the man had a reward because you cannot come to god and live the same it's not possible anytime you come before him he will certainly perform a miracle and grant you the desires of your heart i believe everybody has a need isaiah 55 the verse one snap isaiah 55 the verse number one isaiah 55 the verse number one ho you see ho is in the bible ho is in the bible ho See, so if you are from the Volta region, clap for yourself. <laughs> who, everyone who test, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come and buy and eat. Yes, come. Buy wine and milk without money, without price. That's why ushers Ushers jeans ne buy you. My brother here was bow tie, and then the dress name Fibia. Oi. Yeah, Joel, I like your dressing. Let me figure out what you now with your bow tie. What? Bon sema nyamia wa shenem masu. When my mother was alive, she was, she was a Pentecost, and every morning she'd be singing, Bra, 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 no beji wo. Bra, 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 no beji wo. Oje hiya fo. Oje ayari fo, yesu die. Wose mo. Oje ayari fo. Na oje hiya fo. Yesu. Nipana woke up football stadium, my beka said VIP stands, and then this is for poor people. And but Yami dear, that's why obey the 40 years. Babu is obey the 22 years. Now they are all sitting on the same bench. Because in the sight of God, whether you are 70 or I'm 25, we are all God's children. That's why and found out that they are winning as a one bra bra. Come. Because 
but no because oh sir and then the times giving it there now me free that we said no best as well but <laughs> he's talking about spiritual freedom come having the faith that men some fatal in your school be a mccoy in your degree be a mccutan ever my name i'm a cb of mama cb because what do me are we clapping so the man came and it was here I saw said, I had a phone at me by his wall. And he was coming like that. It's got four baby priests, four baby near the Napa pension and Nippenmo. Never again should I hear say any member of this church say, Bishop Minis can to me and quite me, sorry. No. Never should I hear say, Minia Tadian to me, they said to be a sebra. My come is to write some. Tama me cast said, May I so for your Pamumi Fifi. My dad drove me out of the house because I said I was not going to practice. And he drove me out of the house. Now, for years, I had only one clue. One. One shirt, one trow, one coat, one singlet, one the other one. Hallelujah. Everything was one. I and my father are one. I just secretary negative me. What about you, Mr. So, I invite him to program B and I'm a sim in Tadian. Nama shed them up at our big one, a one, no more fun. My two can you show me to one's been inviting me program? Can say, Pa, Nami will crumb, Nami say, Nick, be not speed be on the beef, you know, because na when something more day the barn is showing me pant co. I then now a crime and I'm so copy to the main country. Namia, I do, but we say, Ready, hey. So we say, me touch say different type of shoes. Me call brother, me who should be an amato? She say because so for me say shoe crowd for bare four years. Me say, oh my mum should be a me feed her. Oh my men show nyansa kakra. Bon sem kesi ba. But despite our shortcomings, our inadequacies, and all our negativities, we still came. And look at what God has done. No matter how bad it is, come, come, come. Tell somebody, come, 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 come. Send Rao Koda, boy, in the out there, come. One human man, we are suspect, human man. Hallelujah. Okoda, sister, if you are out there, come. No matter what, you come, come. A day, but come. A pretty and a true, a crowd will say, ouch. But sit there and come. It's good to come than to stay there because when you stay at home, you can go back. But when you keep coming, one word can let you decide I won't go there again. So keep coming. Come on, somebody. Are you clapping like that? He came with his leprosy self. He came with his leprosy hands. He came. Yours may not be leprosy. Yours could be anger problem, bitter problem, jealousy problem, envy problem. You keep coming. As we keep hearing the word, God will work on us and change us and make us better people. So keep coming. So number one, he didn't give up. He had an expectation. Number two, he came. Number three, give me the verse number one of the Matthew 8. We just read the cardinal scripture. Quickly. When he had come, go to verse two. Verse 2. And behold, a leper came and worshipped. I don't know the motive. I would have come to you. 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 You don't come to church for that, for, that, for that reason. You come to church to worship. The man worshipped. Now, how do you? Yarefua ya pamune fikrumu wa wuhune yene nene ma. No wuhune yesu anuwa kutu yesu sorry no. What do you mean can't tell me say no man kosu niti wun sorry radio. I'm seeing a sick man here worshipping God. And you are saying say bishop. This thanksgiving miya bi bi tsa mi bae. Ma ma ube frame ya kakembi ya tse mi tsa mi bae. Na mi pa no man kosu yon ti thanksgiving sede yin. The man with all the frustration still worshipped. Which means you can worship. It's a choice. Even if things have not gone the way expected, you can make a decision to be grateful. And in your quest of gratitude, God will come through for you and change things. (laughs) 
And I've been in church for five years. I've been in church for two years. I've been in church for five months. Since I came, I've not seen my miracle. Five months. And I would do you know. I'm tired. And so, I'm so edgy. I'm this over here. I'm in one year. Hello, are you in the house? But that doesn't stop me from praising him. Fancy, because one Sunday, my dad was thrown on my dad. They are somewhere, yes, you are saying, Nerea. Oh, soon they are somewhere, say, Open Miracle, being a million man, and Tia Minfa man, who is he for? Some of you will say, Papa, you are not a man. Hallelujah. But you think it's okay to do that? What I'm trying to say is that no matter in bad times, this is your song. You are God alone. You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Unchangeable. Unstoppable. Unchangeable, unstoppable, unshakable. In good times and in bad times, I know because of the COVID pandemic and its effect, life has been some way. People have lost all kinds of things and many people have lost hope. As your pastor, I think it's my prerogative to make sure I encourage you to know, sir. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. And some of your boys are not going to be able to say, I'm just saying, I'm going to be able to say, 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 I'm going to Hallelujah. Tell somebody, be grateful to God for what he has done. And then the last on the list that I loved about the man was that he knew how to open his mouth. Maybe last but one, to make a request. The Bible says, and he prayed. He had a fool, but what Shea said, I was so sorry, Radian San, would be one, Ebu San, for verse 2 in the mommy. Give me the verse number 2. The verse number 2. He worshipped before he said, Lord, if you are willing. So the man taught all of us that before you request or go before God with a request, first show gratitude. Are you in the house? See, we, we don't worship. Especially like a prophetic church, he said, hey. She said, yeah, you worship her. You are a bishop. You are a bishop. But I'm telling you. Because I don't know if they make me a But the word can bless everybody. You're not clapping. And he prayed. So worship. Now, give me John 4 23. And 24. John 4, 23, 24. There is coming a time, and now is that time, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. For God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. How do you worship God in the spirit? We are worshiping and you are not chewing gum and you are not watching people and you are not just all over but you are concentrating, falling in love with Jesus with all your heart and you are loving on him. That's what the man did. And when you come and they have a sorry, I mean, I want you to worship him with all your heart. And he prayed. There is power in prayer. Matthew 7, 7 Ask, it shall be given to you. Seek, you find. Knock. And the door shall be opened unto you. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, 
I will hear them from heaven come down and heal their land and forgive them of all their sins. The Bible tells us clearly that if you call upon him in the days of trouble, he will hearken unto you and deliver you that he may glory, you may glorify him. Philippians 4 7. Be anxious for nothing. Don't be anxious. Say, I feel you couldn't be into it. Say, be bit me senior. They be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. But in all things, by prayer and supplications and thanksgiving in your heart, your request will be made known to God. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding shall keep you. Which means that if you've gone through adverse circumstances, when you come into his presence, develop the attitude of waiting on God in prayer and trusting that God is able to answer by fire. And I'm convinced that there are some people here by the time the service will end a miracle would happen to you because of the prayer we are going to put on the altar can you clap and shout yes and finally the man had an attitude of gratitude as soon as he got the miracle and Jesus told him to go show himself he went some of you some of you come to boyfriend Namu discana ako chama girls. Kanyamia o kaiwo ao ma usebiye. Some of you didn't have jobs. You prayed and you got a job. It just was say a boy sorry na. Na eno me here na udu usikaye. Yen sure na me because obiti me a jeju mane free one sem. You can. My castor be a chen one one is it one sister. Bomba is I me say your point should be an open mo daddy. Tell me where your point or to say, I said, I don't need my father. The piano dimitri, I need a job. The bomb pies are that come in anointing on Tuesday, Wednesday, now I'm a friend for anything. And she got a job. I feel on your jumana. Oh, my sorry. Oh, friend, that I'm busy with my job and my boss and my boss. Now, i really that come a friend. So, you need to come to jail. As my boss, I want to be a man's who are trying to You are lying. You are in your boyfriend's house. Why do you want to I'm see. Two weeks. She says, Stay up, sorry. If you are on a drawer vest. Sunday, no, about her association. She said, I'm going to catch up with some friend, mommy. She said, I'm going to catch up with some friend. She has lost the job. I'm going to let me ask you an answer. Say, you should put first things first. I prayed with her and she got a job. But yeah, and yami adu mazi adu wa fanya me serious. You see, God will not let you have something that you put in His place. He's a jealous God. In shoni yami, and let's give Him our first place. His first place. School na ukosi si yami yami ne ma unyayo, but when you pass a great, you don't care. See a foul. A juma na unyayo, and when you pass a yadum. The true baby I will see a dance here. Men young will see a dance and I may do a car. Oh, mom, now. I do a car. When I would dinner make out, can we sing it undertone? It's a Asia meeting. Oh, Kwane, the devil. If it's a summer, now I see a. Say it your way, Chira. Obiara, Leo. Say it your way, Chira. Sweet is standing for me. Obiara, Leo. Say it Ya kocho Na ya sorry wo Ya mie kama wo fata Iti wo sae yi wo sae na si Oh kro kro ya mi yeah, Udi, Kodo Dreina, who is Roda? 
Rhoda, 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 Rhoda. Are you the one? Come here. Touch Rama. Back I said. I thought you would lift your hands and love on him. Oh, you right. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. The man worshipped. Take glory, Holy Ghost. And I am born again. Titim Rimu. Uyo Nyami. Can I see your hands up, everybody? And I saw. Missy Uyo Nyami. Missy Uyo Nyami. Sweetie, what is your name? Roda Mensa. Roda Mensa. That's your name. Are you clapping like that? It's difficult for women to settle down in marriage in your family, but your case will be different. Amen. Said God. Every case militating against the family. I saw you in the spirit exonerated. And God said, Look at her. I saw her. And she stepped out of the case. And God said, Tell her on this day of Thanksgiving, this. The, the spell is broken in the same way. Any spell on your life breaks today. As you are shouting, receive your miracle. Oh. Lift your hands. Stand up for me. Abali Gadaya. You know this, sister? to bring her to see me. Yes. For what? Confirmation. It's confirmed. Yeah! Ah! Ah! Hey, are you in the house? Hey! Ah! Confirm, Papa! Hey! Say that, let me prophesy. Prophesy! Is it, is it some of you the way you behave around the prophetic anointing? That's why you don't get a miracle. If you scream, you receive a testimony. The prophetic general. He said, He said he wants to come and see me after church. I'm happy he did not see me before church. Late somebody will say there's been some kululu. Oh. But when this woman was sitting, she was praying, saying, God, let the man of God locate me Amen. and confirm. Confirm, Papa. Is it your first time here? It's your first time. Charlie Mission Gombongsem. You see, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw. I was telling her that marital case is broken of the family. Is that correct? And I see in the spirit that the name means is taken off and O2 has been given to you. Oh, Le Abakashada Ale Kabaya. Caris, words, Roda. Caris, words, Roda. Caris, words, Roda. Is that the name? Caris, are you O2? So, Mrs. O2. It's a blessing to have a prophet over your life. Oh. Where is Charles Alavisi? In fact, let me finish with, stand here, let me finish with them. The 
destiny is from God. Oh. I saw the two of you wedded. And I saw your firstborn. He's a boy. He looks just like you. Body, papa. Professor. Your second born is a girl. Ah. She looks just like you. Ah. Your third born is a boy. Ah. He looks just like her. Hey. Your fourth born is a girl. She hey. looks just like you. Hey. 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 Somebody scream! this anger problem you should work on it you know what I said yes work on the anger problem because he's sometimes going to be very irritating and it has started already that times I know he can tolerate him good because I did finish me and sometimes we have to manage it to suit the purpose of God but it's from God and it's confirmed. You don't need to come to my office. It's oh. settled. Sit down. Hey. Oh. 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 The so we had it that Oslo Mio or Susu Sia. Hey. Hey. Metal. Professor. I saw the two great apostles in this place. In the spirit. Initially, I thought they had come with a blessing. I saw Apostle Paul and I saw Apostle Peter. And I thought they had come with a blessing, but instantly disappeared in the spirit. I was a bit confused and I was trying to buy into the wisdom of God to ascertain what it really means. Peter, Paul. You have a brother called Peter? And you have a brother called Paul? Yes. Professor! Hey! Ah, are you in this place? Professor! Do what you're about to do, Papa! Hey! There's a curse on your family. But it will break from you Amen. and affect your other siblings. Oh. You are like a Gideon in the family. This message on altars. You've been praying, telling God, any altar in my father's house should break. It's breaking right now and it will Amen. affect your other brothers. Ah! Ah! Lift, lift your hands up for me. How connected are they to you? They are very connected. I see. Did they visit you recently? Huh? They visit, when did they visit you? Last two months. They are coming around you has released a blessing on them too. Oh. Ah! See, get connected to gifted, anointed, and grace people. Hey. You, with this, your being around me, don't think you are bodyguarding me. I'm rather bodyguarding you. This is what is on me that's going to be one day be a way around. I was in the water here. I was not out in Busa. I was in the ground. I'm here with that because me, me know me and us attack by who made you. Hey, me just want to. Oh, where I'm bodyguard, but when some night they take us here, bro. Oh. So it's a blessing to be around anointings. anointings. And they are called, lift your hands, and Father. I lay my hands on my son. And I break the family case. Hey, 
Are you clapping like that? Ah! Can I prophesy? It's a Thanksgiving service, but I'm, I'm led to speak over some people. Can I do that? Leave my coat. Sweetie, come here. Sweet, come here. Yes, run to me. Balaga dabaya shata. Elabako shada dabaya. Balaba. Mami, I'm frozen. Country said, Get ready. Obey, yeah. dear I'm coming. Something is about to happen to you, Kate. Bala Gada Bada Bada Bada. But your papa, your TA. My name Thomas. That's your name, Thomas. Thomas. Professor Papa. You are tired. You are. Professor. What? Uba be your sojourney. Obedi na kudroso. As I'm talking right now, I'm seeing say yet oba ne picture. Oso say wa ne mo du say wa. Yet ne picture akoto no kubo shine be so. Na meti say ye kase ye mbubu osay. Oba ne friends ay. Osay. Major prophets. If you clap, fire will enter your village. Osei should be paralyzed. Why? Because there are two people who are due for a promotion. And for some strange reason, Osei is the one qualified for it. And the other opponent wants to make sure they take or say out. But God said it will backfire in the name of Jesus. Amen. And or say shall be promoted. Amen. If you clap, may you receive a visitation from wow. oh. Now all of you stand up. Let's just pray for us. Hey? Stand up for me. Take out your hands. And close your eyes, everybody. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I clap and a fire prayer. I clap and a fire prayer. Every attack. Every attack on Osei's life. Osei's life. Say catch fire. fire. Can you clap in open prayer right now? <laughs> Can I hear prayer? <laughs> Come on, prayer, shudder, in the name of Jesus. In the same way, lift your hands up. Any juju released against you, anybody who has consulted any medium against you, may it backfire seven times. Say, Oh Lord, promise attack Biara against my life from any shrine. Say, Cut fire. Say, Cut fire. Can you clap and open fire right now? I can't hear you. Come on, lift up prayer. In the name of Jesus. But any obey problem, no, and I'll debate. Me who say, we last born, or my me free me ya ya ya. Just two weeks, honey, and you are really worried. Say, I don't know, bam, and then we'll for no reason we're free inside, and you are really confused. Open it. Kobusa Obani said, "Why name Mamie Fia?" 
o kane pane kire wo a wonne obani na mon koma me fia ne ho ansa na moye yie no antume bia obeti bia to na mo fan ko pata no na moye sa de na ono nka se be bia na no akasa he will be speaking and she'll be telling you things because be bia koso between sama me no ene wire ma me but i'm coming you i'm just talking oh. and i'm telling you some secret will be unraveled and god will intervene make cover out any fear cover Oh. You are not clapping at all. Ah. What's your name? Bruce Watt. What is this I'm saying? Are you a carpenter? You do something like that. Come here. What's up? What? Apart from coming to what do you do? I do a business entrepreneur. Look at me. Don't play with the carpentry work too. Sharpen it. And do any other accountant work you are doing, whatever. And this year school crown crying, saying yeah, yeah, sir. Listen, concentrate because I turn and I saw say you have opened a shop and you have employed boys and it's very big, about five hundred workers. Oh. You, you don't need to be too much an expert. You just have the know how just uh, just encourage them and just because i see a very big shop and you are you, when you, scar, you, are, you are struggling with all the accountants the, 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 and i can't win a struggle with some winner but go and work on what i've just said because your multi-billion blessing is in that amen ah one word papa Jesus. And you are putting that thing called a condition, but you don't know it's a coffin. Yes. And yet, you see people walking on the streets, selling, and a day they are able to get about 500 Ghana. What a time, say 30 in a month. When you just catch them, what's your condition? More. You say, okay, so we the corporate one. one. Wow. I turned and I saw carpentry. So, and next year these are the things i'm going to trust god to do man. explicit instruction as to which way to go oh. father bless this young man and open the doors oh. are we clapping for jesus what? it is settled but you me a call now sophia sophia Sophia, 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 is that your name? Are you sure that is your name? Sophia, Sophia, Jipo, 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 Jakpa, Jakpa, is that your name? Sophia, Jakpa, 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 Kadadabaya, Sophia, 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 I'm some more brain, I will just, Prophesy, Papa. So far, so far, so far, so far, so far. Shabala, bala, 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 bala. Ah. Did you come alone? No, I came with somebody. Somebody. I'm coming for prophet's graduation. You are coming for my pastor's graduation. Oh, she's your church member. Wow. So you oh. came from where? Upper West. Upper West. We just you just came this morning. Did you say be a mini mopo? Who is Andrew? 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 Professor? Andrew? Andrew? You came with him? You came with him? My goodness! Hey! Professor, Papa! You will never leave Accra for the Upper East the same. Amen. You are looking for a miracle and God says take that miracle now. Take it! Oh. Is he married? Is he married? Is he married? Not, Who is he? Not my church elder, this one is a dickin and that one is one of, the workers. one of the workers of the church and he's a dickin. Lift your hands up sir. God is changing your finances so you can support the man of God. Break! Oh. 
It is settled. Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. Come. Baba, 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 Baba. Yeah. Church, lift your hands up. What you want, sorry, is here. It's very important. We are praying for the immediate miracle right Amen. now. The man received an instant miracle. You are praying, Father. I need the miracle and I need it right now. Put your hands. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I can't hear you. Say, say oh, Lord. oh Lord. As I clap and I pray, I, and I, I receive pray. an instant miracle. An instant Can you clap and lift up prayer? Give me oil. Come on, church. Come on, lift your prayer. Lift up prayer, lift up prayer, lift up prayer. Father, bless you this woman. Shakabala Baya. Hila Kabaya. Yes, I Yes, I am. Oh, what did my mate? Oh, what did my mate? I don't want to buy. Did you come alone? I don't want to buy. I see death. Obi wo fi na zeya. Ah? Why ya? O cousin, I see say e be ba won so so. Jesus. And then say why na I say wo e hu bi. But you won't die. No, you won't die because nyame do too much. Come here sweetie. Who is she to you? Your auntie. And you? Your auntie. Who invited you? Oh, you invited them. God bless you, man of God. Come, stand, join, stand here. All of you, stretch your hands on this family. We are breaking the power of death. Amen. And we are praying that as they bury their cousin or whoever, this death sentence cannot locate any of them. Amen. Stretch your hands, say fire three times. Fire! Fire! fire. And say, as I clap and I pray, as I, clap and I, pray I release them right now. Them right Can now. you clap and open fire? <laughs> Do you feel some pain sometimes there? Since when? Three months. Three months now. Come on, Yama, come here, come here, come here. Jesus, it's a joke. Sister, now, what can I say? Who and no matter them and if ye, what kind of God open my eyes? There's another person here. You see two beds follow you all the time. The person should come here right now. It's it's monitoring spirits Jesus. and they have been assigned to make sure they finish their assignment late by December 31st. You are the one. Come here. Come here. Jesus. The devil is a joke. Mami bra, the same miracle you had, stretch your hands on her. Tell what's up. Imagine her. Jesus. Black bed. Father Gadibada. Trek. Oh. Peter, you know, mommy. The birds are human beings. Jesus. One is called a fear and one is called a joy. Two birds. Jesus. Two birds. Any evil bird around your life. Jesus. RCC, are you in this place? Oh. Any evil bird around your life. Jesus. Holy Ghost. Ah. Oh. And you too? You too. How much the time you say? You've been seeing it all the time in the house. Two beds. Give me oil. Let me cover both of them. 
You one day realize that one of the birds is dead in your house. And then somebody will just follow and that'll be it. It's settled. It's settled. Amen. Settled. Mommy, I cover you. I cover you. My goodness, I cover, I cover, and I cover. What do you do? SHS, you have a glorious future. So think of yourself and make sure you don't mess up, okay? God bless you. Sit down, all of you. Let's clap for Jesus. Come on. Oh. Never again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, heal him. Kadabaya Shadaya. Heal him. Heal him. Don't give any colleague of yours chance to sheepishly or like jovially hit your chest. If somebody have done that already, I cancel it. But if somebody's yet to, when they do that, say, oh, no, no, no. to the end of the year, please do that. I cover you. Amen. Clap for Jesus. Oh. oh, your clapping is poor. Yeah. Oh. Our lady at the back, the fair colored lady. Should they come here? The lady with the baby. Yes, you come. What's your name? Selina. Selina, come here. Where is your husband? Your husband. In abroad, US. Come here. This is your first time? You've been, you are a member of the church. Hey, my name is Member. So, I see, I don't think I'm a person. So, we go through class and I'm a chef as just we are the next week. No, because I'm a chef on my office. So, be a and and that's the new. Most of you are finished class four. That is where you have your certificate. But now we are adding class five. Also be a code through. Muna Dickens will be a class five from Minimbisha. It's a month starting time and then maybe five. Next week, number five is a one on one. Just we'll sit down on a glass, you know, some champagne. Then we'll be talking. I'll be speaking with you, pray with you, get to know you. Yes, champagne is in Tinama. Hallelujah. Amen. But, but, but that's what we're going to do so that we can have some time of interaction. I want to know my members. How are you? What's your name? What do you do? Where do you come from? My idea and all those things. We're starting today. Praise the Lord. So Hallelujah. So I can, I can know my members. Hallelujah. Um, madam, there's a problem. There's a problem. Come down in my own name, who said, Yeah, when ye I come what true, I won't say it, but you miss me, mom, pie, mom, and bon pie, ma, wa, be this war, or be a cantam, be be so, but you're the genie for the pan in seven. I hear what you know, one second, because what bread, what bread, who swan check, but today will be the last day on this day of Thanksgiving, oh, in radiation when the Munyama bread. Are you clapping like that? Oh. Hey, I am happy I'm a prophet. Lift your leg and scream yes. I come for me and me said, oh, victory is my pigeon. How are you? How are you? You are fine. Is she the only girl? Baba Kope. She's beautiful. How old is she? Two and a half. What's her name? Daniela. I call her come and see. Can you go back to Can you buy rooms? Hey, 
obi ya kan tam bibi so ba ye ji wade ma o me sam dia to we see me him ask me for when because obi do ko bibi akoy bibi etia ho a ama enyoma e ye sa but i prophesy later by 7 days yeah fan bre me jesus papa ne be frawo apao chew ah na by easter obe ba gana na obe toka chew atofia chew is what it Oh, restore, restore. Are you clapping like that? For anything for the sake of this girl we pray for supernatural intervention in Jesus name amen i find yeah kosubra sorry i'll be ready to hear your testimony next year by easter amen clap your hands ah oh. If a Thanksgiving service before we dance and praise God and honor him the uh, last Friday some people pledged okay so if you came with the pledge come forward before I do some small one or two And those watching online these are people who are honoring God with their substances and so you want to consider saying God I'm so thankful unto you with my seed with the numbers on the screens you can also sow your seeds and your offerings to say thank you those connected to Rima TV Rima platforms all my social media handles you want to say it's 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 a glorious day we are thanking God for walking us through the whole of the year and we want to show gratitude you can do that father will bless every hand lift it and we declare that those here and those without who are all giving may you release a blessing upon them and open the windows of heaven and pour blessings upon their lives and grant them the desires of their hearts as we repeat the devour to stay away from their lives in Jesus mighty name we pray it amen please drop the seats on the altar come on clap for Jesus and then let me do my prophetic direction bonsa 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 bonsa
The early church had an hour of prayer in the book of Acts chapter 3 verse 1, where they gathered together to make prayer to the Most High God for signs, wonders, miracles, and testimonies. Prayer works. That's why the Ewisi Brookman Ministries Fellowship gather every Tuesday morning in His presence to make prayer. You can miss it this and every Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. sharp at the Rima Calvary Centre Auditorium, Kwabinya ACP Road, High Tension, Rima Basta. Are you ready to move to the top with prayer? Then, Meet your prayer partner, Bishop Edwin Ewisi Brookman, the General Overseer of the Rima Calvary Center. Counseling with the Bishop follows immediately after the service. You can call 0543-996210 or 024-664-3300 to book for your counseling. Don't throw in the towel yet. Men and women of God, the time to pray is now. For if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. See you there. God bless you.